Hey, hey guys. Yeah, um, you know, I've uh, moved off all my uh, YouTubes and I'm, I'm, I'm going to reintroduce them in a, a different uh, pattern, in uh, a different order. And maybe uh, don't show uh, all of them all at once. Just maybe I'll, I'll have them uh, certainly in the playlist. But um, so anyhow, uh, there is a, uh, a young person. It, it's got to be younger than me. Hell, I'm, uh, I'm pushing 80. I'll be 71, and I'm pushing 80. But I feel like 20. I can kick the top of the door. Uh, I, I, I do the total gym. I used to work for Jack Lane. Uh, I, I e-bike. I'm doing kind of like, you know, what Christo's doing in a different way. But uh, so the a comment was, and it, it's a good one, is that, uh, what you know, when I, I talk about this, I, I fully understand it. And it's, and it's, it's difficult for any, any subject, you know, somebody, when I say Einstein, let's take somebody, not Einstein, but somebody who's really uh, into it. Now, the guy that's really pissing me off is the my pillow dude. He's on it all the time. He's the my sheets, the my pillow, the my blanket. He's going to come out with the my mask, but he's involved. He's in it. This is what he does. You know, that's basically what I'm saying. Um, now, uh, Nick Fowler's changed his swing into this paradigm that we'll call it the paradigm. Uh, Gary Player uh, did it. And uh, it took him a lot of time to figure it out until Ben Hogan said something. And I'll, I'll say at the end of this conversation what that was. But um, Tiger Woods is doing it. Let's say there's just three or four people. And if I'd, I'd get them in a room and I, I'd go like, is it inside, up, and under? Gary would get it. He's basically saying that, maybe not necessarily in that specific way. Ben Hogan did that. Uh, he, uh, he changed his swing from a long left arm lever. And a lot of people who, who love, admire, like I do, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Hogan, uh, would, they would get his power golf swing and then they would uh, move that like back to the future. They, they would move that into what he, he, he revamped it. He revamped it because he got hit 10,000 pounds of bucks on his shoulder. The golf equipment changed. Even now the balls that has changed, the, the size of the head of the driver, the shaft, uh, at the top swing as they, they hit it. It's one, two, one, two. They're hitting it from here. Bobby Jones moved the club head back. If he had the club head forward, which was transition from the wooden shaft to the steel shaft, He'd, he'd break the wooden shaft. So Bobby Jones took it back and then moved it in to Bobby Jones, and we all see that. Ben Hogan uh, took it left because he had the steel shaft. Bobby Jones took it right and deep. Mr. Hogan wanted to get the club in here. And this is, it is how he, he revamped it. Uh, it's not necessarily a, a, a radius thing, but it's, it's how his hands, arms, and wrists, and, uh, and you know, club head came in. It's the inside figure eight shaped golf swing. Think of it that you you get a chair, you're bored, maybe you're retired, and you're underneath the freeway, and you're wearing your mask, of course, and you see the interchange, how the, uh, how the architecture of the freeway is the cars are coming in and moving around. It's kind of like a, a game, a, or not a game, but a ride at a music park. Uh, it's, it's a roller coaster. It's, it's not a Ferris wheel. It's not a perfect round circle. A lot of the people that uh, you know, love Mr. Hogan, they uh, talk about the golf swing. They say it's just a circle. Well, I guess you could try to swing in a perfect circle, but uh, you're going to have to micromanage the club face. Mr. Hogan hated that. He threw up. I, I helped Ed Seal and Ron Sathoff write a book from Ben Hogan to Ron to you. Now the Ron is Ron Sathoff, who was Jimmy Nemeritt's uh, assistant pro back, you know, back in the day. And Ed Seal, both these gentlemen, gentlemen have passed away. 
but I had opportunity to uh, uh, to talk on phone to Ron Saffa. Ronnie played practice rounds with Mr. Hogan, and he would call him Mr. Hogan. There was a uh, a time where uh, you know a Ronnie was watching Mr. Hogan play, and it almost looked like Mr. Hogan came over the top. And and you know Ron says, uh, I believe Ben or or excuse me, Mr. Hogan, that you almost look like you came over the top. And Mr. Hogan, uh, as Ronnie says, almost his head blew off his shoulders. He says, I never go over the top. He doesn't go over the top because he's hooked up. He's inside. He didn't set up in these strict box angles here. And I'm doing this because I, I, I have to illustrate it, but I'm going to count it. He was angled, his body angle was angled left, but his back of his heels was a, aimed to the right. Now, uh, it's very interesting if, if you watch Tiger Woods. When he came out on tour, he had that. He had that, I call it the hybrid stance, where it's not the Adam Scott straight back and straight down in like that. So that gives you, that you set the body angles, and it's a, it's a hooked in, you're hooking the left arm under the, the left teat. So it's inside up and under. So it's in here, and, and then there's this movement here. It's a station come over the top. Everything's going to shadow down. And, and he told Ron Safha, I hate the goddamn face of the golf club. It's a toe-heavy instrument. I'll do anything and everything to get the damn toe of the club, not to hit to the ground. So by doing this, and this is what Gary Player, uh, 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 Ben Hogan says, it's not that hard. The hands are always inside the club head. And it took Gary probably not 50 years like me, but maybe six months. He just says, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this, pumping it, pumping it, lifting weights, and I pump out. This is what David Ledbetter was taught, uh, taught uh, Nick Faldo. He, he had this drill. He had this one. Where it's, see, that's a long left arm. You see this? It's a long left arm. And now look at this. You see this? <clears throat> Faldo, a big man, could, should have, even to this day, knocked the ball probably 80 yards further. He's revamped it. You can see when he does the clinic. There's a clinic. He comes out. The young kids are there. They're probably their parents paid a lot of money for them to, uh, to watch Nick Faldo. It's probably some uh, you know, golf academy, some, probably in Florida. And Nick says, yeah, you come out, you, you warm up. I have the shaft. It's a shaft. It's a heavy shaft. He, just, he says, you do this. He doesn't say you do this. He doesn't say you swing a barbell like Gary Clary used to do. Gary is inside up, and it's under. This is what I was showing, and I didn't have it where you can hear me because I want people to see is that you, you walk in, this would be uh, flat or parallel or squ square. You, you want to angle it off a little bit. You angle it off and then you come in underneath it. If you saw what I did, I had the shaft there and I was I, and uh, that toe of the, of, of the club was open due to the, of the cup. So I go over there and I do that. Now that's a cut. Hogan didn't do this. Everybody says, well, he just, you hook it up and you fan it. No. Ron Southoff told me, and he said, uh, he says, Ben told Ron is where that shoulder goes, the tip of the shoulder controls the shaft. You see this? And where the body goes is the golf swing. So there's, there's a couple things going on. It's like rubbing your head and your stomach. So if you set up with your hands in the middle and not, not the David Ledbetter, Nick follow the old way, the long arm. It's the short arm. And it's the inside up and under. So you get up in there and you go up. It's kind of a silly drill. You go and you slide your right hand up. You, you, you see the wall here? And this is the invisible club drill. There's no club here. But you get under and you see how you can feel it in the shoulder. You go, okay, Billy wants me to do that. And I put my right hand under that. And I go, I'm under. 
Now, that's where Mr. Hogan was. That's where he put Glenn Ford. And there's a picture. Mr. Hogan standing there just like Jody Vasquez and Crystal Garcia. Crystal, uh, Jody Vasquez put Crystal Garcia absolutely dead on, spot on, where Mr. Hogan had the golf club at the top of the swing. You have to go to Crystal's website and you're going to have to hunt, probably put Jody Vasquez uh, in there. You, you have to get to that place in your life to understand it's, it's, it's straight back to the inside, inside, and then there's an up. The up is good because the club's going to go up, but it's under. And, and this is that with an extension. Of course, I'm sitting down in here. It's not like sitting down in a chair getting a club and doing that. Mr. Hogan, uh, John Schley, he did it with other people, but he says, okay, uh, riddle me this. He, he says, check this out, Mr. Hogan. You get a chair, I want you to get this chair and I want you to throw it down the fairway. Most humans would grab a chair and go that and then it would go into a country club member's backyard and break their damn window. Mr. Hogan would go, grab it. He did a move here, inside up and under. He grabbed the chair. You see this? Huh? There, where the tip of the shoulder goes now, how it's been rearranged controls the shaft and where the body goes controls the swing. Stop. Think about it. Hmm, that's interesting, isn't it? That's what Tiger Woods is doing. Now, if you get Tiger Woods, Nick Faldo, and I'm even going to put Gary Player. Let's say we're in an elevator, and I, I tap him on the shoulder. I'm Billy Martin, and you guys have been doing the inside up and under. And they look at me, and, 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 and they wouldn't know. Their body found it. They, they made some adjustments. But the thing is, unless you know what you've done and why you've done it, it's like, I guess you can get a monkey and he can type uh, Shakespeare or, or part of the Bible, but in the same microsecond, what uh, an accident creates, that ac another accident is going to destroy. So think about that. It's all in the setup. This is if you want to swing like Mr. Hogan. Straight back inside under the left teat and then there's a movement. There's a, there's a reorganization and, and there's an understanding. So I'm over here again. Just stop and think. Get a shaft a club, a club, a golf club, and just look at the other video and you walk up to it and you got your hand here and you, your thumbs, it's not that, it's not that. I'm not saying that you can't hit the shell of the ball, you can turn a, 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 a nine iron into a two iron. These guys are hitting nine irons, 180. That's because of the ball and they've, they've turned the loft. Mr. Hogan underst understood this. He, he wanted to have the apex of the ball a certain way. A nine iron should go the same apex, a, a, a seven iron, same, just the same apex. And then you can judge and, and then you know. You don't want to deviate all these different you know, heights. But anyhow, you don't walk up with the club and say, okay, I get flat left wrist and I get my there. You're on the outside, buddy. There's just no way. Now you can go here and then you're going to launch up, launch up and then get trapped and then probably hit the snot sugar out of it, but you're not going to know where it is. It's going to be the army. It's going to be left, right, left, right, left. As you get older, I'll be 71. I work out all the time. The body is deteriorating. It doesn't. It's going to be in your joints. It's going to be in your ligaments and it's going to be in your muscles and in your brain. Get the club, 
do it invisible here for me. What it is, I angled it this way. I, I, and it's, they say, well, you're laid off. No, because Mr. Hogan said that you, uh, he was asked a question with you know, Gardner Dickinson, Gardner, another Hogan guy. Uh, ben, how do you think about hitting a ball straight? He says, well, you set up for a slice or a fade and then think draw. And you go, a slice, you know, would be like outside across, right? But draw, not a hook, a draw is a graceful, it's coming from the inside. You, you set up for a cut or a fade, but then you think draw. Mm. Riddle me this, Batman. You get the club, and then you, you set it off a little bit. So it's angling to the left a little bit. And then you get your hand here. Get your hand there, and this is this. This is this. And then you reach, you're going inside like you're punching somebody. Mike Tyson knocked people out, not from way out in here. He did it in here. Then you can use all your muscles inside, up, and under. And once you get it in there, you're going to feel it. They call it internal rotation of the joints, I guess. But then you're going to be setting up and feeling. Mr. Hogan says it's from the inside muscles. But he never, ever did this. People says this is the book. This is what Hogan, and then they start doing this shit. Sorry. Or they, you see him, they're here, and then you watch the elbow, and you do that. No. You're, you're off the ball. Mr. Hogan was on it to win it. He wasn't going to move at all. He had no deviation in his golf swing. I, I talk, this is pretty intense, but you can do it, but it has to be in here. And you have to trust it, and then you're going to go, you know, I'm going to go out there, I'm probably going to shank the ball. I'm going to have to stop and figure out why. You need to use your damn smartphone. Maybe use the, uh, is it the, um, the V1? Uh, there's a free V1. And, and you need to, I plug my products. <clears throat> my ebook on Amazon, my Dropbox went south. And so all the videos went bye-bye. I mean, as far as the links, I'm going to re redo them. Uh, you can go to my website and then you can get a, a PDF version of it. Same thing, PDF version and it has the links. And, uh, and then I, I have the, uh, from Ben Hogan to Ron to you, I, I have a new flip book. It's, uh, it, it's the flip book version of from Ben Hogan to Ron to you. This is what I was talking about with, you know, Ron Southoff and Ed, Ed Seal. And Ron, Ronnie says he, how, what Mr. Hogan was saying. I interpret it into this paradigm, the inside up and under. Mr. Hogan says, there's no reason to, to, to go to the left and then go to the right and then go to the, to the left. Mr. Hogan set everything there. True, there's going to be some weight shift because the body's moving, but you don't do... Because if you set with an angle, you're going to have to hit it with an angle. Okay, now I'm going to give you the whole taco. Take a breath. That's Ben Hogan. Sam Sneed had the hands over the top. It says the hands over the top. Well, that's inside up and under. Well, in a way, in a way, Sam was uh, uh, pulled the ball straight. Think about that. He pulled the ball straight. He was a puller of the golf ball. Now, he would set up this way. You see the flat, flat left hand? You see this like this? Uh, and, and he did this with his knuckle, and then he did this like that, and he had this. He had a short left thumb, and he had this flat. If you see, da-da-da, he would have this flat going back, and he'd be up at the top. He says, you, you turn the shoulders and the hips all at one time. You can move the head, but he wanted his neck to be uh, pretty much right there. But then he, he would hang back a little bit, and then he says, you have to rotate the forearms. He's inside up and under. He's not setting up this way. He's setting up in the da 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 da. So he had a, 
if you put a, a credit card here, you don't want to hit it because uh, uh, you could hurt yourself or a, a stick under your left wrist. You can see what, what Sam did because that would, gets everything moving together. He was over it more. You see this? And then once he came down, this he would say that he felt like he was pulling down with his last three fingers. Now he says on the Bob Golby video that you get the club and you, you, you do this and that and you turn. You see how there's a kinkle? He didn't have that in his golf swing. Here, now watch. That's what he did. He set up this way. He, he turned the shoulders and hips and everything all the way up. And then when he came down, you see this? Everything, and then he'd go like this. He says, what you want to do, take the hips and the shoulders, and now watch. Da, da, da. It's not that hard. And then watch. Da, da. He had a very upright fall through. Of course, he was over and turned in with the hat. So as I got older, I'm, I'm doing more of the Sam Snead. I can't uh, move through the ball as much as I want to with Mr. Hogan's golf swing. I understand it. I can teach it. I can explain it. But I, I'm doing more towards the Sam Snead stuff because I want to keep everything limber and loose and, and pliable. I want to be able to you know, continue on doing this. This is a lot of uh, information. You can send me comments. You can send me questions. You can send me answers. But this is what <coughs> Mr. Hogan did, uh, uh, truly. And I, I, I don't want to sound overblown, but uh, people that start putting these pieces together and not getting rid of those pieces. This is the tendency is we get hyperlinked out. And then we say, oh, oh OK, this young gun now, he's doing a separated grip. And he's got his toes turned this way. And he's a vegetarian. Bye. It's gone. It, 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 I mean, eventually you'll get back. But then you'll, 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 you'll just go away from it again. So anyhow, God bless you. Uh, you take care. and. Uh, Hit me up with a comment or a complaint.